What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to count phrases. And I'm also going to show you how to identify the one. So first of all, what's a phrase you ask? Well, you can kind of think of a phrase as like a sentence in music. So if you have the beats or the head nods being the letters, and then you have the bars being the words, then a series of bars makes up a phrase or a sentence. Check it out. A phrase is a group of bars. The amount of bars in each phrase varies depending on what part of the song it is and what genre of music it is. In hip hop, rock, pop, and other vocal bass music, the phrases are generally two, four, eight, or 16 bars long. In electronic dance music, such as house, techno, trance, drum and bass, and dubstep, phrases are generally a bit longer with eight, 16, 32, or 64 bar phrases. The one is the first beat in the phrase. This is the beat that you want to drop your next song on. Most songs give you a musical clue as to where the beginning of the phrase is by bringing in a new recurring sound like a cymbal pattern, a guitar riff, or vocals. For example, in electronic dance music, you'll usually hear a little clue, like an extra drum fill every four bars, then a bigger clue, like a cymbal crash every eight bars, and then a huge clue, like bringing in a whole new instrument, like a new melodic instrument, a drum roll, or a big cymbal crash, like a big fill before the beat drops, every 16 or 32 bars. When you first start out, you may have to count every bar in the phrase to know where you are in the song. However, over time, and with the help of the musical clues, you'll be able to feel the phrases and instinctively know where the one is in each phrase without even having to count. Okay, so now we're gonna count some phrases. But before we get to that, I also wanna show you one of the advantages of using Serato, whether you're looking at the software or a controller that has a screen like the Newmark NV2. It actually shows you where the bars are. So if we just scroll through right here, this being the one, as long as you set up your beat grids correctly, and I showed you that in a previous course on how to set up your beat grids in Serato DJ. So if you wanna learn that, definitely check that out. I think I also touched on it on the NV course as well. But as long as they're set up correctly, you could just look at these grid lines right here. So each one of these is a grid line. And you see right here, we have the number two. Going, and now we have three. And four. So the big grid lines uh, fall on every bar of four beats in four, four time. And then you have the little ones right here, which are where the head nods are, or the beats, the counts. So if I rewind it and just play it, you can see them. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six. So that's an advantage that you guys have because you can actually see uh, not only the sound wave uh, and the beats and where they fall, but also the grid lines with the little ones and the big ones showing the bars. So now let's count some phrases. So I have the house track right here and we are going to see uh, where the phrases fall. Now also, uh, like I said, they're in uh, 8, 16, 32, 64, that kind of thing. And um, sometimes you don't even have to count and this is your goal. So I'm teaching you how to count but then eventually you'll be able to feel where the changes are, right? Like I talked about in the animation. So uh, we're going to, and I'm gonna give you some clues, but we're gonna listen to this track and hear uh, where the changes are as we're counting the phrases and see if we can hear some new instruments being added in or instruments being taken away. So let's try it. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four. Okay, so that was four bars. And did you hear that little symbol, like, shh, right? So that was at the fourth bar. So if we rewind here, remember we can see the number, it's on four. So if we rewind, rewind right here. Here it comes. So now let's keep counting. So we are at four. Let's go to the beginning. Right. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four. Okay, did you hear that? 
So the sounds dropped out in that eighth bar, and then a snare came in. It was like bat, bat, right at the end. So let's listen to that again. And now there's new instruments. So if you notice, there was a little change uh, in between the phrase, like in the middle of the phrase on the uh, right before the fourth bar, and then a bigger change uh, at the end of the phrase, beginning into the next phrase, which was the eighth bar, right? And that last bar is then leading into the one of the next phrase, right? The magic one number. So, and then you count again, one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight. So let's see if we hear any more changes. Let's go to the beginning. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, three, six. And then on the one of the next phrase, all the sounds dropped out and went into this little breakdown. So we have the snare and then it breaks down. So that's like a huge clue. So the better you get at this, the more you'll be able to feel it just by listening. And you can also like look at the track in Serato and see where the breakdowns and the buildups are and where they're adding new instruments. So I can see just by looking at this track right here on the, on the small preview at the top, we have the little intro. And so that was eight bars. And then we have this bigger part right here and that lasts for eight bars. And if you look right here, you can move the cursor right there. And then it goes into the breakdown. So you can kind of see the sections in the waveform. So now let's count some phrases with this track right here. It's a different kind of track. So we'll do it the same way. But you can also see right here, even before we start counting, you can see it's broken up into sections. So I'm guessing that this is maybe four or eight because it's a smaller section. And this is maybe like eight or 16, but we won't know for sure until we count. So let's count it. Two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. Okay, so that was eight bars. That was a phrase of eight bars. However, did you notice like in the middle, uh, on the fifth bar, uh, a new sound came in. We got our clap coming in and some percussion. So here you see number five. And then no sound. So all the sounds dropped out uh, sort of giving you a clue that the next, the one was coming of the next phrase, the big magic one, right? So let's keep listening. So now that we know, oh, first of all, now that we know that this is eight bars, because we just counted it, now you can look at the track and be like, okay, well, that's about half of that, right? So this is 16 bars, and then this looks like a phrase of 16 bars, and another phrase of 16 bars, and 16, and 16, and 16. So we have like an eight bar intro, right? And then it goes into phrases of 16 bars or two groups of eight stuck together. Okay, so let's keep listening. Two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four, one, so that was just a tiny, tiny, tiny little thing, right? So this is telling me that these phrases are in 16, two groups of eight. So we're going to count eight twice, but uh, we have a little uh, sound right here. So check this out. Two, three, four. So it was like a little drum fill, like a ba-doom, boom, 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 right? Right, so that was a little difference. 
And I'm not even counting now, and I'm gonna know. So it was had a little bit of a dropout of one instrument and a little so tiny. So that was the middle of the 16 bar phrase. So we just counted eight. So we weren't counting, but I heard that little fill, boom, 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 boom. So that told me that was in the middle of the eight bar phrase, right? Starting again, eight bars. So that's four. So what do you think that was? That was the one, like the big one of the next phrase, right? Going into it. So uh, you can see here that we have two eight bar phrases stuck together, making a full 16 bar phrase. And uh, when it's just a tiny little change, you can see that yes, we're still counting in groups of eight, but they're stuck together, making a full 16 bar phrase. And then the big change happens at the end of that phrase, going into the next one, right? So depending on, how you're mixing and how you're putting your songs together, uh, you can sort of choose where, which one you wanna bring it in on depending on how the other song starts, how long the intro is. So when you're first starting out, you will probably have to count every beat and every bar to know where you are in the song and every phrase. But the more you practice, you're just gonna be able to feel where it is. You'll just know where the one is and that's where you wanna get. So listen to tons of music, and really get into counting the beats, bars, and phrases. And the better you are at that, the easier it will be later when you're starting to put your mixes together and you know, beat matching and mixing and all that sort of thing. If you wanna learn more, check out the next video.